identity theft through the use of technology is an issue of concern not only in Nigeria but the world over. The proposed law seeks to streamline the sharing of personal data and expand the scope of the Commission. The proposed legislation is crucial for the socio-economic and political development of this country. Most of us are affected by fraudulent acts as a result of our biometrics that are out of control. There must be a provision for punishment for willfully refusing to register. The issues of uh, kidnapping, terrorism can be dealt with properly if you have uh, a kind of uh, system in this bill. The bill will be subjected to scrutiny at a public hearing having passed second reading. Senate also passed at second reading the bill seeking the establishment of Chartered Compliance Institute of Nigeria. Senator Oju Uzokalu, in another motion, brought to the attention of the Senate the effects of flood devastation to lives and property in Abia North and appealed for intervention. It came with lightning and thunder, it was so severe and devastating that some precious life were lost in the flood. In another development, the Senate and House Joint Committee on Set Fund met with management of the Education Loan Fund on operationalization of the fund. This Joint Committee is carrying out its mandate, ensuring that the eligible candidates are not denied access to this loan. We have uh, put some programs in place, some processes in place to ensure that this program is spread evenly evenly across the entire nation. Nalfund was set up to enable indigent students in Nigeria access loan for education purposes from the National Assembly.